Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard flight ABC-123 with direct service to Parenthood. The local temperature is all over the place, so there's no way to dress properly. Carry-on items should now be stored securely. But regardless of how tight you shut it, be prepared for to fall on your head during the duration of this flight. You'll find a list of approved do's and don'ts in your in-flight magazine located in the back of your seat. Just kidding, you're completely on your own. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you and remember, those doors don't actually work because you are stuck on this plane forever. And now, a real mom tweet. My exercise routine mainly consists on army crawling out of my kid's room when he falls asleep. And let's walk our feet out. Take a big breath in. As a mom, you have to fight to get some time for yourself. So today, I want to help three deserving moms get some me time. At a pub, pub. Here's Taryn. She is really in the thick of it. With a 14-week-old baby girl, she just wants to change her shirt. Next up, Arielle. She pushed out a baby girl just nine months ago. If she could have anything, it would be a nap. Finally, meet Latrenda. With three kids off to college, her nest is as empty as her savings account. Oh, exercise is good for the mind, the body, the spirit, but it's like, who has time, you know? Today, yeah. we do. Let's move it down the waist. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> is this even exercise? And melt it down, melt it down. The one thing that was working on my body after I had kids was my arms because of just like lifting them all the time, those little tanks. Body roll back. And, ooh, love that variation. Ooh, I think my water just broke. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, all right, my vagina needs a break. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And now, a word from our sponsor. The stamina it takes, you guys. Yeah. You know what's quick and good? These yeah. Lala oh. yogurt smoothies. Oh my gosh. They're delicious. Healthy, convenient, on the go. You know what else we need? What? I'll let you find out in the next scene. It's like kids can just smell us relaxing. Ah. You know you're a real grown-up when sweating is a luxury. Seriously, if I pass out, don't wake me because I really need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. The first rule of parent club, you never tell anyone you're going to the bathroom. Before I had kids, I, I look back at that time and I'm like, what on earth did I do with all those hours? <laughs> yeah. I feel like oh, yeah. an eight what minute shower is like a vacation. It's a luxury. Right. You just want to say, can I just have a quick moment? to do nothing and no one needs me. Here is like to be all mom. Have someone shout your name every 30 seconds, one end from your face, while trying to write a grocery list. Do not call me mom. I think that's healthy though. I think we're crazy if we're trying to pretend like it's not okay to say sometimes we just wish that no one needed us. I think it's healthy to say, oh, there were things I loved about my life before kids. Right. Like swearing with reckless abandon. Absolutely. I do miss that a little bit. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait for the day when I actually wake up to my alarm clock. Not screaming children. Let's talk about all the things we're going to do once they grow up and go to college and then we're free. Travel. My youngest is 18. I just got my passport. Uh, yes, the plans are happening. You know, I really hope they don't come back. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. We need to be saying that if it's okay if people say that. It's also okay if you lock yeah. yourself in your house and cry and need to go to therapy because of empty nest, but it's also okay to say, I have my life back. Yeah, right. I wish someone was threatened to put me to bed for a change. And this is something that's so important to me, is like this idea of self-care. Self-care is a band-aid for a larger problem, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to encourage like women, all of us, to be better at stating our needs, yeah. not putting it all on your shoulders. Moms can't do everything, right? Right. 
I need to give my baby a bath. I'm tired going yeah. to school all day and working. I feel like as her mom, I should do it, yeah. but I need help. So I need to be confident in asking. You gotta state your needs to those around you. Yeah. And I'm just gonna say, Latrenda, I'm gonna bring my kids to your house this weekend. Okay. I, I'm gonna leave them there for a while. <laughs> that was so easy. Right. We did it. When's the last time you guys got a massage? Okay, ladies. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girls, <gasps> let's get greasy. <sighs> Good mom, but I have children. <sighs> well, if there's one thing to take away from today, it's that sometimes you just need to get nudie and have a stranger touch you all over. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Moms, you can't take care of others until you've taken care of yourselves, okay? Take time to pamper yourself the way you do with your baby, but without the diaper cream or with no judgment. Cheers. Cheers.